He is one amongst many others with architectural engineering skills displaced by the Anglophone crisis. Our Blaise, 17 years old, was forced out of school in Form 3 in Bamendo by the armed conflict. He has been residing in Kululun Duala for a month now, but not idle. Now an internally displaced, he decides to bring out the joy in him, that is, building electrically driven wooden vehicles and electrically powered aircraft. These are the fabs blade that make the plane to go up. When the, when the plane wants to fly, the plane has to run. So when the plane has run with speed, this, these fl flaps compresses air and the air lifts up the plane up. Then here yeah, we have the steering of the plane that gives the plane direction. And this is also the flaps of the tail that when the, these flaps take off this head, then the flaps of this tail also take off the tail. Some of the vehicles include armor tankers. We use it to defend our country with it. I fabricate it out of carton, wood, and electronic cables, and some light zings. With motors, they remove from decks and amplifiers. <laughs> bulldozers. So this is two in one caterpillar. We have bulldozer and excavator. The one is always used with to mine. Why the one is used to create road, brooks, roads. Then this one is used to mine something very far down inside the ground. Things like cement material, go we have some iron material, sand, stone. When we want to plant some fire pillars down, it's also used for construction, construction and building. These are cables. We, we have bottles and one liter bottles head that I've cut to put here. They will have carton. You can have motor removed from decks and also have cat, um, carton. And we have thread, thread and bows and shafts that is used to manipulate the arm of this head. This one is a stamper. When we are um, fixing a road, we use it to make the road smooth, very well pounds, so that when the road is being constructed, they do not, they, they, so that we do not have too much pothole. We are seeing potholes on road. It's, it's just that that road is not being stamped very well. Then there is a gear system that supplies power to the machine. We also have the vibrating system inside that make the machine the machine to apply force to compress the ground to be strong. This one is a front loader, so this one is used to load a camion when they have mined things like grants, they have to load a truck. This is the gearbox of this front loader that is applying force for the wheels for this chain to turn around, to turn around on this wheels. So it is the chain, the chain is receiving a command from this gearbox before the chain can turn around. So it's the chain that is making this front loader to move forward, backward, left and right. Trucks. The truck is used to carry sand, some heavy loads, stone, stone ground to transfer some of, some of our mining material that has, has been removed from the ground. So this one helps us to transfer it for far distance and to carry it a quantity that a human being cannot carry it inside the river road. Cars are also inclusive. Yeah, this is the gearbox. This gearbox is being placed inside under the car. This gearbox is usually placed under the car. So this car is too small for this gearbox to be fitted under. This is a, a, front, a front drive. Because for cars we have rear drive, which is the back wheels that uh, forward the car but there are cars that are driven by the front wheels. All of these wooden vehicles are controlled with this motherboard to function as though they were wheels. It is used to control all these machines. It has been made out of aluminum, as you can see, cartons and bamboos. So it is electrified through these cables. Yeah, the role of the cable is to, car, is to obtain a live current from the 
from the battery because this is the main supply. This way it takes in power, electrical power, to control all these machines. So it passes through this cable and to, and to all these various sticks. While I'm moving forward, an action is taking place, either a bend, a turn, or moving directly forward or backward. So each of them have its function. They are being wired according to the different functions of this uh, port here. But making these craft work normally needs time. The time that I begin fixing this vehicle, I did not know how I can make it, the, the thing to be common to manipulate it. So I was taking the cable that is from this vehicle, from the machine to exchange with the battery. So I, I sit one day and think that, let me think something so easy for the machine to be manipulating so easy. So I, I decided that I will, say I'll fix the remote so that I can exchange the battery estate to exchange this there and exchange it on the remote. This one is a battery that is powering all these machines to move forward any direction that the, the machine is being planned to move. So this is a 12 this is a 12 volt battery because the motor used on this machine are 12 volts and motors. Our bless T was inspired from childhood. I was still a kid. I was seeing other kids playing with toys and my own parents was unable to buy them. So I decided to look the view of those toys and come out with my own toys. So when I do my own like that, I play with it also. So I was, by that time I was doing types, all types of toys that time, looking the views of toys around me. I also watch movies. Moving robots are equally results of his aptitude. He had also admired science that gave birth to magnificent technology. Blaise did not limit himself admiring planes fly, bulldozers and caterpillars doing incredible works and so on, but to build his. When moving the, the town, I see machines walking somewhere, building machines, at times seeing planes fly over the, the, the city, our town. Bless a mentor to Nzia Roland, was encouraged by his elder brother to develop such this a creativity. One is a stamper. My elder brother see the thing was so serious, so my elder brother was behind me, forcing me to do it. So this is why I've discovered myself come out with those machines. Yes, he created an helicopter and test the helicopter and test it without remote. So the helicopter just just fly and and went. He never find it again. It just lost in the sky. So that was when I really, I really sat down and said, no, there is something in that, in that boy's head. Moral support also came from his parents. Anything that you perceive that it can be the best for him, I don't have a, I will not refuse, I will accept. Because even to go to training, he can still be going to, to school. I'm looking forward to do those machines in a very great way with iron, some, some good materials that are more better than the one I'm seeing. Our blessed Chi now hopes to work with car manufacturing companies or something more.